Hi there, this is John Lexo from Pro Tutorials, and today I'm going to talk about Kindle publishing, specifically about keywords, because this is one of the most important parts when you want to build a Kindle publishing business. And I would say that this is one of those things that really determines whether if you are going to be successful and make money with Kindle or not. It's really about choosing the right keywords and also learning how to structure them in the right way so you can build a sustainable Kindle publishing business. Anyway, if you still haven't done it, I recommend for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button that you see below and you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about self-publishing, affiliate marketing and a lot more. And also if you want to speed up your results with Kindle publishing and in a few months start making a lot of money with Kindle publishing, you can always get one of the best video courses out there for nonfiction called Self-Publishing Revolution by clicking on the link that you see in the description so you can go to its landing page and find more information. Anyway, let's talk about keywords because that is the topic today. What exactly are keywords if you are wondering? Well, when someone wants to purchase a book, they go to Amazon. They actually don't go to Facebook, Twitter, or whatever you might think and whatever other people are actually talking about. They actually go to Amazon. So. When someone wants to purchase a book, they go to Amazon, they go to the small search box that they can find over there, and they may select the option that says Kindle Store, so they can just basically filter uh, everything related to, to Kindle. And then they insert the title of the book that they want to, to search inside of Amazon. So let's say that someone wants to purchase a yoga book because they want to learn more about yoga. It's something that they are actually interested. So they insert yoga inside of the search box over there. And yoga is exactly a keyword. So a keyword is nothing more than a word or a combination of words that someone inserts inside of a search box because they want to find more information about that specific topic. So they insert yoga and after they press the enter button, a listing of 20 results of books related to yoga appears. Now, ex exactly what exactly would you want to do as a publisher if you had a book related to yoga, even though I don't recommend for you to publish a book related to yoga because even though it's very profitable, it's something that is very competitive. There is constantly new publishers publishing books related to yoga and it's hard for you to be able to actually maintain your book in the front page of results and that's exactly what you want to do as a publisher in order for you to sell your book. What you want to do is be able to publish your book and uh, rank your book in the front page of results specifically in the first five results of that particular uh, keyword that you're trying to target. In this case we are talking about yoga. So if you had a yoga book that's exactly what you would want to do. You would want to position your book in the front page of results in the first five res uh, results that appears in that listing. Because what happens is when someone is searching for yoga, they can easily find your book because your book is appearing in the first five results. And normally that's exactly what people do. They search for a topic and normally they purchase the first five books that appears in the results. Normally people don't like to scroll down a lot, people just don't like to go to the second, to the third page of results and so on and so on. People don't like to do that. People like to keep things simple, they don't like to put much effort. So normally they purchase one of the first five books that appears in a specific listing. And in order for you to increase the, the sales of your books, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to be able to rank your book in the first five results for the keyword that you are targeting. So that is what, exactly what you want to do as a publisher. Now, in order for you to rank your book in the front page of results, specifically in the first five results, it depends a lot on the keyword that you choose because some keywords have more competition than, than others, but also it depends on optimizing your book for the keyword. And for you to do this, you need to insert your keyword in the title of your book your main keyword and also you can put related keywords on the description from your book so if you have a book related to yoga and actually yoga at this point is more of a niche than just a just a keyword because there's a lot of things to talk about uh, yoga for example you have 
yoga for beginners, you have a, a yoga where people do it, everyone is naked in, in the class, so there's that type of yoga. <laughs> there is a yoga that where people do it on top of a, a surfboard. So there's a lot of things to talk about yoga, and it has become, uh, for many, a way of living, a niche, and so on. So what you would want to do, you have always your main keyword, which is yoga, and that's the, the keyword that you want to insert in the title. Then, of course, you also want to put uh, related keywords in the description from your book. And also, once you, you are editing your book, there's a section that where you can put seven related keywords and you want to put more related keywords on that section because of course you want to rank for your main keyword but also at the same time your book can rank for multiple keywords at once and you can uh, rank for other keywords this way you increase the visibility of your book because once someone is searching for example for yoga for beginners they are still able to find your book in that listing because you actually optimize your book for that particular keyword. So that is one part that you want to do when it comes to optimization. The other thing is also the number of reviews that you have for your book. And by it's extremely important for you to get reviews for your book because getting reviews actually helps your book rank better inside of Amazon. As I already mentioned, when it comes to this, I do review swapping. If you want to learn more about this, you can watch my other video where I go more in detail about this. And it's something that I just not, I'm just i just not going to talk about in this video. So getting reviews is extremely important. And the last thing that is extremely important is the cover of your book. You always want to have a really enticing cover because most people uh, decide whether if they want to purchase a book or not based on the cover of that book and also the the review rating that book has. So if a book has a great cover and has a rating, let's say, of 4.5 stars, then you increase the, the probabilities of that book selling. So having a good cover is extremely important. This is something that is very important because it helps your book sell better. So those are the, the things that you actually need in order for you to rank your book better for the keywords that you are targeting. And by being able to rank your book in the first five results for a particular keyword, you increase the probabilities of your book uh, selling well because you also increase the visibility of your book because normally people commonly purchase the first five books. And in order for you to sell your book in a daily basis, you need to have this constant flux of traffic of people searching for the title of your book. So it's extremely important for you to rank your books for, uh, in, for the keywords that you want. Because if your book lands on the second, third page of results, most likely your book simply won't sell well because people normally don't go to those page of results. They simply stay the first page of results and normally they purchase the first five books that appears for that listing. So this is extremely important. You gotta understand that keywords are extremely important. Despite whatever other people out there may say, that you don't need to worry about keywords. All that you need to do is basically build an email list and promote your book to your subscribers. That is nonsense. That is bullshit. Because you need to have a constant flux of traffic searching for the title of your book so you can keep always selling your book on a daily basis. Because as soon as, as your book stops selling, let's say for two or three days, your book simply doesn't sell. What happens is your book stops dropping from, starts dropping from that listing of results that you are basically targeting. So you need to constantly sell your book. And the only way that you are able to do this is by being able to rank your book for the keywords that you want and also maintain your ranking in the front page of results. Otherwise, your book simply won't sell. And if you build a, for example, if you don't worry about keywords, because some people out there say that you don't need to worry about keywords, and you just need to build an email list, that is, I mean, what happens is, let's say that after two or three months, you have an email list with 500 subscribers. So basically, you have 500 prospects, people that possibly may purchase your book. So 
the number of people that you have is very limited. So what happens is, let's say that you promote your book to your subscribers, to your 500 subscribers. A few of them, of course, will purchase your book. But then what else will you do to actually keep selling your book after that? Will you in the next day send another promotion to the same list? Probably if you do a second promotion, probably a few other people will purchase your book. The people that probably didn't saw your, your first email. But then what next are you, are you going to do to keep selling your book? Because sooner or later you simply don't have uh, enough people to sell your book because you are just limited to those 500 subscribers and of course you can keep growing your list. but what I'm saying is, if you want to keep selling your book, you really need to rank your book for the keywords that you want because you need to have that constant flux of new people searching for the title of your book so you can keep selling your book every single day for months and months. Because just by building an email list and not caring about your keywords, it simply doesn't work because the amount of subscribers that you are you have in your list is limited. and you send a promotion and some of your subscribers see your promotion, they purchase your book, then you send another promotion, then what else will you actually do to keep selling your book? Because eventually you just run out of people. Even if you grow your, your list, I mean, there's not much that you can do to keep selling your book. So the only possible way for you to keep selling your book is really being able to rank your book for keywords. This is extra important. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about in this video is about choosing profitable keywords. This is another part. Uh, probably most people out there know that when you go to a specific keyword and that you see that um, the first five results, those books are uh, below 100,000 paid in Kindle store, that most likely those, those, key, those books in that keyword are profitable. Now, what I want to talk about here is you shouldn't immediately publish a book as soon as you find a profitable keyword out there because there's a way that Amazon works when it comes to their algorithm and you need to work in favor of their algorithm in order for you to build a sustainable business. So you shouldn't follow the basically the shotgun approach where as soon as you find a profitable keyword, you immediately publish a book because you simply won't be able to build a sustainable business when it comes to Kindle because it doesn't make sense for an author or your pen name to have books published all over the place. For uh, an author to have books related to yoga, other books related to martial arts, to, to cooking and so on and so on. And this doesn't make sense. It doesn't even make sense to Amazon. So in order for you to build a sustainable business, you need to have a pen name focused on a specific niche. So if your niche is yoga, then you're in the, the spirituality niche, then your pen name should only belong to the spirituality niche and shouldn't be published. You shouldn't be publishing books in the cooking niche and so and so on. So you should publish books just inside of the same niche. And also you need to have an approach where you start publishing books in the keywords with the least results possible. And once you start filling the keywords with the least results possible, then you start publishing books with more results. And what I mean about results is when you search, for example, for yoga, now I'm not certain, but yoga probably has about 10,000 results. You can see that number on the top of the page. And if you are, you have a new pen name with no books published, if you publish a book on, for yoga with 10,000 results, you're, since, since you're, you still haven't any foundation built, it will be extremely hard for you to compete with other books and maintain your book in the front page of results where people are able to easily find it and purchase it. You need to still basically build a reputation inside of that niche in order for you to compete with keywords with more results. And the only way that you are able to do this is by first publishing books inside of the same niche in the key, in keywords that have less results. And then once you start filling the, the keywords with less results with your books, 
then you start publishing books in keywords with more results and so on and so on so you basically need to build the foundation in order for you to publish books on keywords that have more results and also with more competition so you are able to keep your books in the front page of results where people are able to easily find it and purchase it so that is exactly what i want to talk about now today about keywords keywords is extremely important you need to work in favor of the amazon algorithm in order for you to build a sustainable business and keywords are important it's not enough for you to have an email list actually you don't even need to have an email list but in case you think that keywords aren't relevant and you can just promote your book to your subscribers that is nonsense because sooner or later you just run out of subscribers that are willing to purchase your book and i mean it it's not enough for you to keep selling your book on a daily basis so the only way for you to actually make money with kindle is for you to constantly sell books on a daily basis and the only way that you're able to do this is by ranking your books for the keywords that you want in the front page and always getting those those people that are searching for your title and those people purchasing your book basically so that is exactly what i want to talk about today about keywords that is all for this video if you have any questions related to this video probably you didn't understand something because sometimes i struggle a bit to to speak in english then just leave a question right below in the comment section i will try to reply to you as soon as possible that is all for this video if you leave a like subscribe to my channel if you still haven't done it before and that is all for now stay tuned with pro tutorials and bye